I've played many visual novels in my time, and I can honestly say that I am pleasantly surprised with how far developers have pushed the genre in the last few years alone. You'd think that people would assume these are just talking illustrations and then call it a day, but they can be so much more. Developer Tokyo Toon proves this in their visual novel Marco and the Galaxy Dragon, which has blown me away with its over-the-top story and brilliant visuals. Marco and the Galaxy Dragon begins with a tragedy as a young girl named Marco is kidnapped and sold as a slave to a lizard thief. Yes, this isn't your typical opening after the sci-fi themes pick up as Marco is aged to 16 and found stealing a rare orb somewhere in outer space. Well, this orb isn't ordinary. After she discovers that its owner has the power to control the galaxy and everyone seems to want it. However, Marco isn't alone on her quest as she is accompanied by Arco, a Galaxy Dragon who has disguised herself as a young girl. Throughout the story, she also meets other human girls who lend a hand in all the drama that ensues once Marco discovers that she has been made a target by some mighty people. On the other hand, she doesn't really care as she is more focused on finding her mother based on a burned picture of her as a child. The story itself is brilliant. The game balances some extremely tense situations and comedy in a way that I've only seen in anime like FLCO. There is so much to digest here from everything that is happening that you have no choice but to be sitting on the edge of your seats by the conclusion. However, the one issue that I have with the story itself is that it loses focus sometimes and goes on long tangents. While these moments can be funny, they don't provide anything to the story that could have easily been cut out. Marco and the Galaxy Dragon is pure charm and style from beginning to end. There's not one point in this visual novel that you feel like you are actually playing a visual novel. Instead, it's more like watching an anime, the kind that you realize 8 hours have gone by and you just binge the entire series in a day. Each character is brilliantly written. Even though Marco and Arco are the protagonists here, the other characters have vast personalities and backstories that get broken down throughout the story. The cast gets rather large too and the story balances the screen time expertly between each of them. I cannot stress what a relief this was when a new character was introduced after 5 hours, but after another hour, I couldn't imagine the story without them. Marco and the Galaxy Dragon pushes what visual novel readers have come to expect from the genre. The game features over a thousand CGs and doesn't reuse many of them. This enhanced the anime feel for the game and kept my attention throughout the entire story because I didn't want to miss anything. Each illustration is beautiful, and they add a massive layer to the quality of the game's themes of dark humor and emotional imagery. If that wasn't enough to grab your attention, there are also some lengthy animated scenes here. I would love to try and put together some elegant set of words to describe how awesome these scenes are, but that probably wouldn't do them justice. They flow so well with the story and are presented as over-the-top cartoonish versions of each character. When it comes to the relationship between Marco and the rest of the characters, it's interesting to see how Marco acts differently with each of them. She is very much herself all the time but she has an understanding of people that allows her to get away with stuff because she can easily manipulate a situation. Still, it's her genuine relationship with Arco that grows the most prominent during the story. There's a reason why they are hanging out together, but their friendship is just a beautiful element of the narrative. It should also be said that the voice acting in the game is fantastic. There are a ton of characters, side characters, aliens, and robots who all have wonderful voices. The hilarious scenes of this game are only made better by the voice actor's commitment to delivery, and this also plays into the game's emotional themes. Marco and the Galaxy Dragon is by far one of the best visual novels that I have played to date. Its dedication to character development and story delivery is something that continuously surprised me during each moment of the narrative. This was only made better by the awesome CGs and voiced audio. Sure, the story loses focus sometimes and is forced to backpedal on some plot lines, but given the hilarity of this adventure, it's easy to look past. If you're looking for a beautiful visual novel experience that will have you both laughing and crying for hours, then look no further than Marco and the Galaxy Dragon. Noisy Pixel is giving Marco and the Galaxy Dragon a 9.5 out of 10. Thank you for watching. Please read the full review at NoisyPixel.net. NoisyPixel is run by a group of gamers who work hard to deliver news, reviews, previews, and more. Please subscribe to keep up with all our future content.